a podcast called Strangest Fruit. camera just goes out of commission then it's our herd studio dog yeah. cannoli yeah whenever there's something wrong with the editing it was cannoli's fault by the way you know me and didante this is the gangland landlord facts he's gangland landlord <laughs> like, i was just playing at first but he like you like you really that guy i heard about you bro this is our our family member our strangest fruit family this our loved elliot. one elliot Amazing sound man, AKA amazing Lil on Spielberg. the edit. Spielberg, yeah, he's Thank little you. Spielberg. We have a blast with him, AKA yeah. Gangland Landlord. Yeah, yeah. So, so I got a question for you. Like, if you went into prison or like you went to jail, like your local county jail, like what would you do? That you know, like ever since I met you guys, I've asked myself that a few times. Like, what do you do? I don't know. I literally have no idea. I have no idea what to expect. So if like. Let's say are you, are you gonna run with the bloods? You gonna run with the homies? You gonna what are you gonna do? What you See, go like I barely like I know what the when you're in jail, is. you have like a five second window to make a decision. See, yeah, that's, that's what I want to know. So what are you gonna do? Doors open, people come. You have a five second window. You got there's who you running with, boy? Huh? Five seconds. Who do you want me to run with? <laughs> oh, that's just, that's rich. That's rich. Let's, right, let's I, I, I want to let's let's go before that. Let's go before that. So. Let's say uh, you're out there running around in the streets of Manhattan Beach. You know how thug it is over there. Oh, yeah. And uh, fucking this little situation happens. Something goes down. One of your friends is with you. Somebody bah, get shot. You know, a little shooting never hurt nobody. So, you know, what? Well, you guys get locked up. You didn't do the shooting, but you seen okay. the shooting. Your boy, you know, it happened. He did the shooting. He, My friend shot Your somebody? friend shot somebody. Okay. Y'all going to the interrogation thing uh -oh. and they ask you. Did you see the shooting? What do you say? Damn. Stay strong. Uh, Stay strong. It really depends on the friend. <laughs> Get, hold on. Hold on now. So it depends on the friend? What you mean? Uh, like, uh, well, like, am I going to? Well, because if, I mean, it if comes it's down, a good friend, you tell. I'm risky. I'm risky. If, if it's a good friend, you don't tell on him. If it's a friend that you like, I don't really fucking know you. You tell like, him. Well, They're just an associate. Yeah, kind of. I mean, like, it <laughs> yeah. also depends on, like. I mean, like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I would. You guys are going to jail that. for twenty years, like, unless one of you guys tells us what happened. That's okay. What they oh, are. okay, shit. <laughs> you don't give a fuck who it is. Wait, you tell so, them. so you, it, it, unless it's just I'll like this. solve every it's crime. Just, it's just like this. Just like this. The shit happened. They go in there. They send you down in there. They tell you, look, look, little spill. We know that's your gang name. We know you're the gang. <laughs> we know you're the gangland landlord. Your friend, he shot somebody. Yeah. Now, if you don't fucking tell us, because we got the gun. If you don't, you got to do the neck thing. If you don't fucking tell us. <laughs> Then I'm going with them. Matter of fact, they come in here like this. They come in here. They come in here. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all get watch the door. Watch the door. I'll be right back. They come in there like this. They come in there. Okay. Can we see the door? So, hey Johnny, we got the murder <laughs> weapon. <laughs> we got the knife. So you're switchblade Elliot, huh? Oh yeah. So switchblade you're fucking, Elliot. Your friend stuck this guy. The guy is fucking dead. Here's the murder weapon. I thought, that, I thought it was a shooting. You officer listen here don't fucking question me all right there we go all right i love see the rebellion baton? love the rebellious see this baton see this dick see how hard <laughs> you are oh yeah that that see now y'all see now we, we want to be a tough guy have you not met ruben palomares listen in my head in my, so in my you... head i would be very mean to a cop all right so <laughs> and they got they got the thing they're doing all this and they look all you gotta do is tell on this dude and you go home what are you gonna do or you can go through this whole Damn, thing yeah yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, I mean, really, it it depends on, on the friend. Yeah, on the friend, it depends on the friend. See, that's that's here goes the contradictory with us people nowadays. Perfectly squeaky clean kid would still make the decision to lie, but would still make the decision to ride. Did I tell my friend not to bring the gun and shit? You know, yeah, I would have told my friend, "Can you not with the fucking gun?" And he would have done it anyway. So yeah, you know what? Fuck him. He could go to jail. Hey, can we acknowledge the Versace shades real quick from the <laughs> yeah, beautiful? Yeah, baby. Those look great. Is anybody gonna talk about the Versace shades? They're really like they real. Uh, yeah, no, they real. 
I know you could tell. Like yes, they're Lord. very. We yeah, didn't go ask like where they came shiny. from. <laughs> came from God. <laughs> Would you look at God? <laughs> so true or false? What? When I when I met Didante uh, in Corcoran Level Four Prison, we became really close and became cellies for three years. No. Why not? You we, said no, like that couldn't happen. Why not? Well, because I know how you guys met. I heard your story. But you didn't hear it all. Well, he didn't tell you that part. Wait. N- no, because I remember. I mean, I feel, story, I feel like I feel like you guys would have mentioned that. So that's a false. We've mentioned it. It's in the storylines. What the? You haven't watched? You yeah, know, I've watched it. All of them. You guys were sellies. No, it's a true or false. I'm gonna confiscate that hat from you. That strangest fruit hat right now. Right up. No, were we true or false? False. I'm gonna say false. Okay. He stood by it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. That wouldn't have been possible. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. I was also thinking that too. So if you if you let's say you went to jail right now. We were in prison or something, and they tried to put you in a cell with a black. Would you? I, I would be fine with it, but like I know that in prison there's a lot of like politics about. Ten minutes later, I'd be fine with it. White juvenile beat up by multiple (laughs) white assailants assailants for going in a cell with African Americans. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking exactly. So I'd be like, yeah, I probably shouldn't because you you know I shouldn't, but no, but like literally I I shouldn't, or I fucking I'll fucking get killed by some other white people. See, like, that's, that's, those, you, you, you like, your level of reacting to extremes is so fucking time delayed. It's like swallowing a, a, a capsule of Tylenol. Yeah, because I don't like, I, it is not going to kick till 30 minutes later. You're see, supposed to be like, hell no, I'm not going in there. I wouldn't Fuck survive you. in prison. It's, yeah, yeah, no, you, you would survive. I would. Everybody survives. No. If, yes, I everybody would. survives. If they're waking up every day, that survival. Yeah, but also no matter like, where they are, they're surviving. You're surviving while like like people are aren't people getting killed in there like every fucking day. I mean, those are some of the people that aren't surviving. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd feel like it's I'd not be like I'd be first. So, so what the, what reason? What would get you what? Because of you know, my like I'd be someone would be like, Who are you running with? I'd be like, Oh, I don't fucking know, and they'd just beat me up and I'd die. No, <laughs> those, no, you'll get you'll get informed and all right. So ask us some questions that you've seen, because I know you're a TikToker. Ask us I'm some not, questions that you've seen from the social medias and YouTubers and shit. Where, you know, you've seen on, matter of fact, go ahead and look at your phone. Just scroll through some shit and, I you know, look I up. I'm sorry, I'm not on prison TikTok. No. It's prison. Yes, you are. No, I'm literally Yes, not yes you are. Your name's Colt 45. It's good all the time. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Sorry. That's, 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 you got to know who that is. is that the that's that's Billy D. Williams. Oh, okay, okay. It's good all the time. It's an old Colt 45 commercial. <laughs> all right, so. Here, give me that. What do you want me to scroll through? I don't so have like any just, prison uh, apps on my me, phone. You got prison apps. I don't have any prison social media. And your fucking, your stuff is what fast, is, lightning is, speed. What is a question that you had or have ever wondered about prison? I know you've learned a lot being yeah, here. Like, not even about prison. It, it, it's more, I know it kind of applies to prison, but it's more in general. I know what the crypts and the I know that there's a like there's gangs called the Crips and the Bloods, but like I thought that gangs are like associated with certain areas, but I feel like those are mentioned everywhere. Like, oh, meaning you're not in that certain area. Is or are they? I mean, you don't. You're with, not in a certain area. And once you leave that area, you stop becoming that. Like no, you, you carry that area with you. No, no, no. I mean, like, so are the Crips and the Bloods specific to a certain area? No, well, no. not anymore. Yeah, why? Is that's been because they expanded and they grew and they grew and they continue to grow and now they're everywhere. If, if you're if, a viral if moment, the the Crips and the Bloods are now just like basically just like so big that they're everywhere. Is there like someone that's still at the top of each of them? Oh, Martha. Huh? Oh, Martha. Who's that? What? That's an Italian word, Mister uh, Italy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look up. Look up. Oh, Martha. Google O M E R T A. Oh, Martha. No other YouTube channel, with the exception of a few, will you get that response ah. right there. <laughs> cool. What does it mean? Let's read. read I, can't, it I can't read that. Yes, you can. It's on the fucking internet. Omerta. We just said Omerta. So. Right. <laughs> you look it up. You look it up. Yeah. <laughs> look it up, Brian. That's right. No, he learns late. He's a quick learner. He's a quick learner. Would you like to be my Gigliani? Hey, that was one of my favorite books to in there. <laughs> what? That was one of my favorite books. Which yeah. one? In there. Which one? Omerta. Oh, it's a book? It's a book. I learned about it in Godfather. I'll be honest with you. If there is such a person and that's such a person that's high up there like that, I don't want to know who it is. No, and yeah, I wouldn't I'm not even want to meet him. No, I don't want to. I don't want no I'm associations. Just, I would just like asking. Yeah. How many years that did that cost you in the shoe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. How many? I'm not telling you how many years you've been back there. Just being associated with people like that. What do you mean? Like it would put you in the shoe? Yeah, it could get you validated as a, a gang associate, get you locked away. Like we were talking earlier, yeah, I was yeah. in there for nine years for that. Yeah. Not for a write up, not for anything I did. I just didn't, because you were associated. No rules violation because. Conspiracy to be associated with a known. <laughs> just yeah. a conspiracy can hold you. But like, so. That's why language is so you important. Associated with someone. Yeah, it's just like it's. So that book, that book that you're reading, George Jackson. Yeah. If they were to go inside your cell and find that book. Yeah. Do you know how many points would he get? Well, we'll be fine. You're going to the hole. Oh, me? Yeah. That's what we were talking about earlier. Like that book right there in prison for everybody, every culture, they attribute certain things to gang affiliation. In the Mexican culture, it's like calendars. It's different shields. It's different animals, and, and they say that's a gang association. That's a point, and they could put you in the hole for that. For the black population, any George Jackson, Blood of My Eye, the Solid Dad Brothers. It has to do a revolutionary warfare. They're gone. Knowledge of it. They're yeah. gone. They're, you're going to the hole, uh, especially George Jackson. There's a lot of hatred from CDCR. Yo, the dude that just got out, Rochelle McGee, the longest held political prisoner in the United States. So yeah. he's, he's on the streets. He's, he's free. out. Yeah, he's out. I've heard you mention them. He's before. the longest political health prisoner in the United States. We need like them. 52 years or something. Yeah, he's A number. Yeah, he did like 52 and years. Him and all those dudes were together. And one of the things that he told he had told me, he was like, you know, knowledge will get you killed in here. That's the that's the biggest threat that you can ever pose to these yeah. people in this establishment. Yeah. You know, you gotta you gotta really look at these dudes change the format of the system. Mm-hmm. And I posted him. A CO that I know from another prison in Lancaster. This how this how I say you got to watch the feds be watching. A CO that's working in a whole other prison. I don't follow you. You don't follow me, motherfucker. It's been since 2016 since I seen you. They've been lurking on the page, trolling. And he's like, yeah, that dude killed the, that dude killed the judge and a, a prison guard. On your page? He came and commented on it wow. in a prison. Like you're, it's your job to keep everything safety and secured. Yeah. And, and he said he went to the parole board and said he didn't do it. Yeah. It's your job. That's it. Your job doesn't act outside of anything of that. I know it's tough as hell to be able to, to somebody that's accused of doing something to one of your colleagues, but remember this, and I learned this from, from, from a person, a, a, a good person, it's just business. Mm-hmm. You're, in, you're part of a business. You can't take this shit personal. To go. Yeah. It comes with the territory. Exactly. So they took it personal. They went crazy. And it's just, it was, it's, but these dudes fought for dudes to have TVs, visitation rights, to be paid what little that we are getting paid in there right now. Yeah. You know, they 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 did some shit. So But the worst thing always in prison that like kept everybody stagnant for so long that lost so many lives was it, it, it exists only in California, it's the racial wars. Yeah. Oh, it's just yeah. like I mean, look, we had them in my generation, we had them in this generation, but it was ugly. Like they 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 were butchering each other like yeah. some of those stories yeah it, it was it was but in california it's always it's loosened up big time like yeah. we play sports together now we play basketball we play we played in ironwood we we're playing baseball we we're playing basketball and only and that's only good. everybody uh, loves it man like and only in california where you find dudes that's from the valley that's from south central la watts long beach and all these places you know california prison system is the only place where a good a, a guy from the hood can say yeah i've been around nazis yeah. Wait. Think about that. It's 2023. You can go outside. Have I you ever go... had a friend that was either a Nazi or like a, a former Nazi or someone? Mm-mm, I don't do Wait, that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's certain yeah. shit that I just won't do. I, mm-hmm. I like, like, I don't want to look at that shit on you. Yeah. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see no lightning bolts. I don't want to see none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some crips that don't want to be around me yeah. because of tattoos that I got. It just res- does something to you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, this deeper than gang. This is racial. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, this, yeah. your gang tie yeah. is to, because I went and looked it up when I was in Hawaii. I was like, what, what, what identifies these dudes? And it goes known enemies. And right there, known enemies, it says, it says any and all minority groups. But wait, hold on. I'm, yeah, the, the, the bomb no, just I exploded. Guess, no, but I guess like what I'm. I'm the bomb I'm just so exploded, bro. That, it's not even that a bomb exploded. It's that like, these are like, distinctions that are being recognized by like the prison guard and the facility the prison guards and like the facility what do you mean like they're the ones that wrote that but i like, mean I, like are these like social distinctions or are these like being enforced and like being like, upheld by like the prison system the only people like the guards 
open the doors. Yeah. And the inmates run the rest. Everything okay. after that. That's all they do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's it's like like when I but say then, it's a well lubed machine. You let it work. Putting, but then who's saying okay? If you're associated with this guy, you go to the shoe. Oh, those are obviously the guards. It's yeah. it's like yeah, it's an IGI. It's yeah, a they have unit. a task force. They have a gang unit. They have tactical units that come and do raids at four in the morning. They have people that specifically. They have people that specifically study languages like. I saw and, I saw his cell get rushed one time. It's six o'clock, right on the dot. At six o'clock, they rushed him and they dragged him out. Took him to the hole early in the morning. The doors pop, like twenty cops. Oh, you can just hear the keys. Everybody knows. Anybody that's ever been in prison already knows what time it is. And then you got to look. Oh, you forgot about the other most hated group in prison. It's not a gang. It's a religion. Which one? <laughs> Muslims. The most hated what, what by the they? cops and all. By the cops. Oh, by the, the most hated yeah. of all. I did see a lot of I did see a lot of Mary, they, they, drug, they drug me out before. They drug me out before, stripped me down, butt naked, took pictures and asked me, Are you involved with any extremist Muslim movements? Okay. Any terrorist Are groups? Are they still like fucking scared about nine eleven? It's it's like, not it's it's not even that. It's it's before that, bro. It, they were doing this before nine eleven. You, bro. You, you do you understand what this? I was born like I was like one when. I All right, America. So a world. So we're gonna give him an assignment. So what I want you to do, I want you to go home tonight. I want you to watch the story of Malcolm X. Denzel Washington played Malcolm X, and that'll give you an inkling of that. Look at Denzel Washington Malcolm X story, and you'll see. Did, uh, did he get an Oscar for that one? No, the only thing he ever won an award for was when he did training day. I just remember him and Morris Blackman, how they used to walk. <laughs> remember? <laughs> yeah, with the zoot suits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got all he got so all whacked out like of that, that bro. Yeah, yeah. heroin. Hey, my favorite question in the world was he he was in when he was in Linwood, taking some B roll for us, and he texted Deontay and asked if he should be wearing red. Oh no, yeah, no. why? Why did you ask that? Like a wear? Uh, would you wear like a, a red striped shirt? Yeah, sure. I wear a red striped shirt, Freddy Cougar. Whoa, whoa, what whoa, the whoa, hell? Hold on. Let's clear up the story. I wasn't in Linwood then. I was editing, and Frankie told a story about the time that he was in Compton, and okay. his buddy said, "Hey." You should be watch out. You're wearing red stripes, and I was like, "Oh, oh, red stripes in the Adidas." I thought he meant like a red stripe, like no shirt red stripe or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like okay, uh, freaking no. So I was wondering, oh, is that like because I, I mean, I just I know that colors are a thing. I just didn't know the specifics. So I was like, oh, I guess is like, are you not supposed to wear red in Compton? I don't know. I, I, that's what I was no, wondering. it's not like that anymore. It hasn't been like that for like decades. But it was like that. It was like that. Okay, Col colors will get you killed. Yeah. Colors of certain things, rabbit foots, money bags. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wearing stuff on the wrong side. Certain mm -hmm. things, signif you know, sickness, show things. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I, I had a dude get at me about the Stranger's Fruit design. No. Yeah. I had a dude get at me, one of my boys. It, was, it was smooth, matter of fact. I'm like, man, check out our design. You know what I'm saying? Good, good look. You know, he from Grape Street. He oh, hit me back like, oh, come on, ma. Remember the last dude said that too, the, the one we were talking about. Yeah, like, well, he well, said, come once on. you explain the history, yeah, yeah. yeah he's like, he's like, what do you mean? Come on, ma, be a Grape Street well, because, maybe, yeah, maybe there's, no. a neighbor, there's a neighbor called Grape Street. Yeah. Oh, and you yeah. got a hat where it's like, but it's uh, once I explained it to him, he was like, all right. Like, yeah, I'm, where absolutely, there's, there's zero disrespect towards the Grape Street. See, like, when I hear the stories that involve, like, just anyone being careful about the colors that they wear, that's so insane to me. Cause I've that's like something that's so I've never even thought that, you, you you never know? thought like that or you never thought outside the box of colors or what things mean. Cause if you look at if somebody walked in here right now with a white cape on their head, what's the first thing oh, you well, gonna of think of? I would think that no, but I mean more like in the sense of like it's it's never been a thing where it's like, oh, I'm not to like if I'm wearing this colored shirt, like, you know, and I'm going to school over here, Did that you can say be this color cape? Shirt. Oh, okay. Oh, I was going to say, my gosh. Well, I thought you slipped, you know? <laughs> no, if I'm wearing this colored shirt, never oh, okay. go to school here. Like, that could mean something. That could, like... You want to join a gang? Because we could hook you up. If you oh, want. Well, anytime you, could be, you, you want. You could be Let a hybrid. Know. You could be a, a blood and essay in one. I, I don't want to join Half the day, you'll no be... Half the, yeah. half the week, you'll be what the day. Everybody else doing it. Why not? Why, not? Why would I want to? <laughs> Straight up. And we go put you on a, on a podcast and start a beef. Fruit gang. Strangers Fruit We are not a gang. Don't... Yeah, we don't... sorry. Don't even associate... Yeah, what the I'll hell is wrong with you, dude? Well, like, cut it out. Sorry. Cut. In the words of 50, I am not gang gang. I do not gang bang. <laughs> so what what made you sign on the Strangers Fruit podcast and say, like, yo, I'm, I want to be involved in this? Like, what the hell? So Bennett just asked me. Asked Shout me, out Benicio. Bennett, yeah, he's, Bennett, he's been off the set. He's coming back. 
but yeah, he asked me, oh, you know, he's been like, like I knew him, he was helping me get work and he said, oh, do you want to come help on this podcast? Yeah, sure. And, you know, I was there and then it, it was like the first, it was the day we shot the first two with episodes. Zach, day one. Yeah, with mm. the with Zach and Xavier. And, and I was just like, I don't know, I was just like, whoa, like these, like I had no idea what the podcast was about. I just like came in completely blind and I was like, oh shit, like you guys were just like telling these like crazy fucking stories and just like saying just like, I don't know, just shit that it, I was already like on. I was already like huge on prison reform and shit. So I was like, oh, this is like a really cool like podcast, like for that. And like also the stories that you guys tell are just like you guys told, like I felt like I was like sitting back and like watching a movie the way you guys like told the stories of like you guys like on the yard when there was like a, everyone was like watching and you guys like took care of the dog or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like dude, like the way you guys like told that story was like, dude, I felt like I was like watching a fucking movie and I was just like, texting Bennett like after where I was like oh, when's that episode coming out because I kept telling people like oh, I want to show them this and then and then like right before San Francisco trip I was like what's going on with the show like you know like I want to be on that that's the goal I always yeah. wanted I want to know like does the younger generation like like check out this type of stuff and you like you young I yeah that's, the younger that's the, generation is the stamp right there the younger at least I think the younger generation wants very like chat like status quo challenging stuff i think they do and i think that this is a, like does that and i th i think you guys are great at doing that mm. like because you guys are just like like not only just because it's not only just because oh you guys are like two like ex cons it's because you guys are like also really good at interviewing and telling stories too like you guys like are so good at the hey we always talk else. about that too like we've had a lot of conversations before like how not to sound cocky or anything, but it comes natural because we had to do that. Like when you're out on a yard, you like I told you in the beginning, like you yeah. have like five seconds to make a decision, you know? Yeah. He's seen me in those situations. I've seen him in those situations. It's many times you got to. Thanks. Like, yeah, you have to. I, I think I learned. There's no learning curve. Yeah. Joker has put me in position when he, Joker was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Don't go take on the Mac chairman spot. Everybody know, don't take the head spot. Yeah. That spot come with some some tricky shit. Go read the title 15 if y'all want to know about the tricky shit. Everybody that, that had that spot. Bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, so he's like, take the spot that's lower. But the reason why I, I was like, I don't want to do this shit. Like, I don't want to do this. Like, you want me to go up here and speak for behalf of a community that don't give a fuck about me or what I got going? I'm close to the house and I got to go up here and, and speak to these people. He said, it's not that. If you're not going to do it, who is and who can we trust as the population? What? what so they have a chair and they have a Mac, Mac rep thing, Mac rep, Men's What's Advisory Council. Okay. And, you know, it's the different They're the group. liaison between the inmates and the cops. Right. Okay. And it has a very bad title uh, uh, held on it because a lot of dudes, then, you know, they, they bend the rules and yeah. they sit up there and they talk to the police a lot. And sometimes they say some shit that they're not supposed to say. They become comfortable mm -hmm. saying shit yeah. that they're not supposed to say. So the MA population wants a group of dudes to be up there oh. that draw the line. So oh. they have separate offices. They're not in the same rooms. Whoa. Or some dudes, they won't even leave out of their building. That's kind like, of this is this, 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 that. Yeah. So my homie would send me here. I'm going to send you up in here. And you yeah. go, I trust you to do this. So it's a very trusting because it's dangerous. Whoa. Because if word gets back that this was said, that this was said, yeah. you could die. Yeah. I didn't want that shit, but he said, you have the ability to speak. So I'm speaking in front of the warden, the assistant warden, the uh, community resource manager. Yeah. And we have to go in here and basically debate with these people about programs. Yeah. Like we want this programs. The community is saying this. A lot of times, if you don't know what you're saying or what you're talking about, you can't quote certain penal code or books or or shit like that. Yeah. They're going to laugh at you. And they're going to say, if it's not in black and white, we don't give a fuck. You sound exactly. silly. Yeah. So you have to go in there and really just it's finesse you know it's finesse but then you have to back it up with fact yeah and, and then it's not you a have game. To, and then if you go in there and deliver this message out here and it's something that the people don't want you got to go back in there your head yeah, is on the yeah. block and the first person that they come for when shit goes down on the yard it could be a riot happening on a whole nother yard we don't know what the fuck is going on yeah but they're going to go to those dudes hey you're the speaker you're the speaker all right we're going to take all y'all yeah. well okay you broke your word yeah like, we thought you guys were gonna have peace and here's more violence. Like it's it's like all the way like that. It's just, but it's yeah, 
Yeah. That's another cool. reason why I say I don't give a fuck about politics. And, 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 <laughs> and if you're in like an insurance position, you're always moving. So in, in the place, it's the most hostile environment in the world. There's so much drama in every single corner and you're just always like just moving around it. Like you're about to get caught in a trap, you know? It's like, yeah, I don't know. It's just like, what's the point? The only way to survive, my way of surviving, where I figured out finally and when I, I had to get to Ironwood, but to go to my groups, Point to go a, to my work point and B. to work out. Just my triangle. I don't, I don't loiter. I don't go. Yeah. I, if, if I'm out there in traffic, I'm in the yard, I'm moving straight to my next and spot. he has the blessing. He's intelligent. He reads a lot, but he had to practice for the parole board. Do you know how hard it is to sit in front of DA, yeah, uh, ex-warden, and all these people, and they're asking you the same question but different type of ways. You got to be like, eh, eh, eh. Yeah. that's why when you seen Big Romy Romy here the other day, he was like, I put my hands right here. Yeah. Any yeah. little, you know, and I sat in front of a psychologist for four and a half hours. Yeah. And they asked you the weirdest shit in the world. Like, they asked yeah, like you. Many they they, they want to trigger you. Yeah. They want to see you break a sweat. They want to see that impulse reaction. Yeah. Which is like, why, though? Like, what the fuck is even the point of that? I mean, it's understandable. But I mean, the part, like, going through the pro war process, I get that. I, I understand the part. Yeah, absolutely. If Look, all right, so let's ask you this. If somebody killed me right now, went to prison for the next five years. Yeah. And they killed somebody. People that kill people, there's something psychologically wrong up top for you to kill somebody over some type of property, anything. It's, it's, it's off top. Wouldn't you want that person to be cleared as mentally sane before being put back into your community? Sure, but is it, sure, but is it necessary to like... Like you would not have wanted to, to met me 12 years ago. No, I, I promise. I, yeah, I understand that. But is it necessary? It, do you think that like that kind of like putting you on this like pedestal and like pushing at your yeah. brain yeah you know? because yeah. They're, 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 they're tampering with every trigger you have because if you can't handle yourself in this kind of contained situation okay, what's going to happen in the street okay. when those triggers happen okay. the bills come and the kids come and the girls and okay. it's up to us to go to the class to learn our triggers and our mechanisms like me mine for instance is financial problems yeah my old triggers are if shit's going bad i'm just going to go on a robbery it's nothing yeah it's absolutely it's 15 seconds and i got the money yeah you know what I'm saying? But now I have to fight those triggers. Like, don't do it. No matter how hard the times get, don't you fall back in. And he said some one time, he said, the moment I fuck up sends me back to what? What year? 19. Yeah, 94. 1994. The moment he fucks up, mm -hmm. it resets the, and then that trigger might cause everything else to just snowfall. Mm -hmm. All right, I just did a robbery. One more ain't going to hurt. You know? And trip on this one time, my boy, right before I paroled, this, this dude from Monrovia, Spooky, Good dude, man. He did like 20 years. He got out. He did three years and he got busted again. He started using and it, it was some kind of situation. But before he stood every day, he goes, I'm going to walk with you around the track. And he started to say, where my whole relapse, everything started. He goes, I was in traffic one day and I looked back. There were no cops. I jumped into the gutter lane and just gunned it. He goes, it sounds small, but that was the first time that I disregarded the law and I just did what I wanted to do. He's like two days later, you know, I was taking some that wasn't mine. Like it opened a door. It's just a fast yeah, okay. action. Jack. I always stuck with that. Like even the small things, if if you, you know. Yeah, I can. Okay, I guess I'm. Just, yeah, so I guess there's parts. I'm just so like I'm just so overall skeptical of the and current you, you, like justice yeah. system that I don't even trust when they do something right. I'm just like you know. And then on, on a lighter note, it's it's not as big for you because yeah. you you live in a. I I'm, love that. I love that you live in a different bubble. And what is your opinion of Donald Trump? I mean, I don't like him. Why not? I mean, I don't like I don't like most Republicans. I don't. Why don't you like Republicans? I think that I think it's a I I view it as just a, a lesser of both evils. Do you vote? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And and I I vote Democrat pretty much every time, and I just view it as a lesser of both evils. If Biden and Obama went against each other right now, who would you vote for? <laughs> Honestly, if Biden and Obama went against each other right now. Probably Obama. Why? Because he's black. Because hey. he's younger. That's why. Because no, he's, he's earlier. Younger. Huh? We were asking him. We were asking him his top his top five rappers. He, Who are your top five? He said, oh yeah. So I said, no, he no, said oh, Eminem. No, no. G I said Eminem. Why? Look, yeah. Matt Eminem. Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no fucking way, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way, Jack. <laughs> Who you motherfucker, say? Asher Roth. Yeah, Asher Roth. Oh, and Little Dicky. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, for real? No. We were buzzing. What's your top five? Top right, five. Now, right now, the people who I'm right listening now. to the most are West Side Gun, JPEG Mafia, and Danny Brown. I've been on a weird Drake kick just for fun. 
No, uh, there's no shame in that. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody no loves Drake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No shame in that. And the first thing I see, and he goes, you know, Drake's coming out next week. <laughs> well, first thing you, you told me. Well, because you were talking about Drake. Oh, come on. Don't try to turn the tables on. Oh, don't try to. <laughs> oh, yeah. What if it, stupid as hell. What if his songs came up? Yeah. So it's five. So those are your five people. How many of those artists are white? <laughs> None. For real? I heard the one dude you you got me playing. When, when, I ain't really. You know, it's good, but I ain't gonna what, say his name. Shit, we might have him on here one day. You know, shit. The only dude I've ever played for you, I think, was Westside Gun. Who's your top? Five? I don't know about no Westside. Top Guns. five right now. Yeah, My top five. Blaze, stop playing with me, boy. Who? Playing me, silly ass boy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know you got. If if we go go with if we go go with just pure talent, nasty, creative, mad scientist Kendrick Lamar off top. Who are your top five? Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. It's it's a murder every time that boy touch some. If you want to go with some some uh some new, just raunchy, just but the boy got talent and he makes some excellent. Whoever giving him his beats is cool as hell. Key Glock. Oh yeah, yeah. Key Glock boy. I've heard some of his stuff. I'm not yeah. really up on. Yeah, listen to the whole. Listen to uh, what is it? Glaucoma. That's oh, it. Okay. Listen to that Glaucoma album. Yeah. That thing dope. Um, that's two. Huh? That's two. That's two. If we want to go with old school, hands down, Tupac. Stop playing. We want to go East Coast. Uh, Y'all might. This is a hard one because there's so many good East Coast rappers. But one that I can say is heavily underrated. But I heard him in a freestyle with Most Def, DMX. Uh, what's the boy's name? Those are haters. It was him, Most Def, DMX. But the person, Big Pun. Mm. Oh, wow. The Punisher? Punisher had. I hear. I've been hearing flow. so much. I'm talking about yeah. that boy got pattern flow, and he was a G. Uh, that's five. No, that's oh it's, damn you. you that's did, four. You did got, all those. I got one more. One more. Right. And then let's see, up and coming right now, new rappers. Well, to me, would probably be new rappers. Shit. Ah, give me a few. Give me a few like new rappers. I've been listening to. Mm. Uh, what's the boy? Uh, Keelan for real, for real. Mom. He got the song on the radio. I like that. Like, yeah, Ke yeah, Kaylin for real, for real, something yeah. like that. Is yeah, I've been hearing him. That's that's five for you. You don't know about none of them, boy. You never heard none of them. I mean, I've heard Big Pun and I've heard of Tupac. What is the Big Punisher's like most played song that you hear that's on the radio? I, I I don't think I've ever heard a Big Pun song. Boy, yeah. boy, but. No, I don't think I. What ever about have... Tupac? Tupac songs. What's a Tupac song? Like, I, I don't even name a Tupac song, bro. Are you serious? Uh, you don't know a Tupac song? I know. Yeah, no. Because here's the thing. I'm like so Not uneducated on nineties. Yeah. If you were to be a dog, what type of dog would you be? Because Roddy Rich said, "I'm a big dog. You a puppy." What kind of dog would you be? <laughs> what kind of dog? Bro, that's what, what kind of dog? Like, be a, be a funny ass wiener dog. He'd be, a, be, a, 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 he'd be a street dog too. You can tell. Be, <laughs> yeah, wild hair and all that. What about you? You could be a dog. Um, I get this from that one dude. Man, you ever just ain't no love like a dog love? What's that country ass dude that be on? Uh, <laughs> he had YG on there. He was like, man, you heard about dudes taking those gas station pills? He said that shit makes me, that shit makes my legs sweat, man. Yeah. The gas station pills. <laughs> I'm gonna be a Malinois. You want to be a. I want a good line. All right. Who thinks Brian is his Malamar material? Wait, is <laughs> You are not no fucking Malamar. M A L L. I'm, that's my dog. It's my spirit. That's what you would want to be, a Malamar? Choose your nickname right now. Yeah, I like Bob. I don't like doing that. You got to choose a nick. You got to figure out what, like, what would your nickname I like, be? I, I like Young Spiel. I think that one's. Young hearing. Spiel? I think young that one's very Spiel. endearing. Because he be, <laughs> he's spilling that thing. You feel me? <laughs> that's young, yeah, that's Young Spielberg. We call him Young Spielberg. All right. But also Gang Landlord's funny. Oh, Gang Landlord? It's funny. Mozzie gonna be on you. That shit copywritten. Stop saying that. Don't yeah. fuck with you. <laughs> no, all but right. I paid for the sweatshirt. I got all I got all the merch, Mozzie. Hey, Mozzie. <laughs> Mozzarella fella, if you, you want the smoke with him, gotta holler at me. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> my young right there. But you can sign him, though. Yeah. Hey, you, hey him. if they converted you into a rap artist, you'd be a dope-ass <laughs> rap artist. You'd be a dope-ass <laughs> rap artist. <laughs> For real, but you can't look like that yeah. when you, when you blush. You gotta, yeah, bro. You know, I know I'll be a dope ass artist. You gotta be like that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, get you a bust down. Yeah, but that's the thing. I don't want to like be like that guy who's like has a past of like not being like rapper at all, and then like all what the fuck is like a rapper. That's like, every rapper right now. 
How many of these rappers do you know have been rapping for over four years? They say they can. No, these dudes. It's is, not even that it's like that they've been rapping for over four years. It's like, oh, all of a sudden your whole personality changed. We're not saying change your personality. Or either way, it's entertainment. So it's, Yeah, we're going to dress yeah. up the exterior. You're going to be like the next Lil Pump. Damn, oh, great. Man. I would love to be the next Lil Pump. Lil Ellie Sam. Gang, Ellie Gang, Ellie Gang, Ellie Gang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. They, what a great career. I would love to be him. His the Kid Leroy. How old are you? Oh, I'd love to be him. Yeah. How old are you right now? 23. I'm 23. What is your what is your what is your idea and perspective on kids, dude? I think that you at have, least you have seven kids, right? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I think I think that he pumping them out every at six least. Oh, his what are their names? What are their names? <laughs> Underdeveloped. What are their names, by the way? <laughs> of your seven kids, you just Johnny James, fucking Jackass, Jessica, Johnny James, Jesse. <laughs> The five J's. <laughs> Jaleel. My boy picking the white. Jaleel? <laughs> hey, baby mama black. Yeah. <laughs> Jaleel. The next will be J. I'm thinking of J. <laughs> <laughs> we adopted. Oh I, we adopted. <laughs> we, we adopted. So, so have you ever tried to pick up a black woman? Uh, no. Have you ever dated a black woman? No, but I haven't dated many women. Do you, do you feel like, like, have you ever, are you attracted to black women? Yeah. Would you ever like date one? Of course. Why haven't you ever approached one? I never. Honestly, I just never matched. With what one is it about Tinder. the black woman that you like? <laughs> okay, you never. Do you swipe left on one? <laughs> no, I was like, no, I swipe right. I'm black. Okay. Woman. <laughs> so what? What is it about? I swipe you, right. right black <laughs> what do you mean? What is it? About? Yeah, I mean, everybody. There's, there's all these. You know, I just, I just would like to to know. Like, is the voluptuousness? No, I just think that women the are walk hot. of the the, no, the what? No, I just think women are hot. Part, I can see his heart beating oh, out of his chest. Right you know, but I, ladies. I just He's taken, but I'm just I'm just saying, if you were single, I would hook you up with so many sisters. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Hook you up with something. Do you like Latinas too? Yeah. I think a Latina might be too much for you, bro. That's too much spice in your life, baby boy. Okay. Yeah, saute your little ass. All right. My, I mean, I am I am dating an Italian, so. Uh, see? This is how you get your ass in trouble. What? Don't you can't do that. No, I'm not comparing. No, you can't do that though. Do what he do. He put he tried to, I said Latina. And he put an Italia in Latina to no. You no, have every Mexican me. woman from here to Ecuador after your ass. No, that is called Spaniard or European. No, I I, I wasn't saying that because of the Latina. Well, what did you say then? Because you were because we were talking about the just like yeah, the there was no parallel. <laughs> what do you mean we were talking? We're trying about to the bring people together. On yeah, we're trying to bring them we're together. We're trying to divide yeah. communities and all that. Like we yeah, were talking the about the nationalities of we were talking about the hey, nationalities we, of we, the keep going with this women. Or? I said, well, I'm dating an Italian woman. An Italian woman? How is that? Great. She's is she from here? She's from Italy. She's from. So how is that? Great. Did you say grapes? Great. Oh, so so like. She's not from here. How was it for her, like, adjusting to being over here? Were you, like, her chaperone? Like, you have no. a teacher? Oh, no, no, no. She, we were in our second years of, or, yeah, we were in our second years of college. You um, talk like a politician. No, he's amazing. No, he yeah, has, you see he, how you just, I asked him a question. Uh, uh, he pulled a bite <laughs> on me. And, uh, I, that's just because I stutter. You know, there's, no, that's, that's, yeah, I, try, so, I try not to do that, but. So she's not from here. Yeah. Hmm. That's kind of, why did, how did you meet her? In Italy? No, no, she was going to school in Chicago, and I was also going to school. You stud, you got you going you to school in Chicago. How yeah. was that? Did you? Why was do you I out not there know them, boy? Why do I not know this about? I told you. You was out there drilling. I was out there drilling. You was out there sliding on the ops. Yeah, dude. I, yeah, dude. All the way to Wicker Park. Yeah. What was you listening oh. to? What music? What's like? What's your favorite Chicago like rapper? You listen to Lil Durk? I don't. I haven't honestly heard much Lil Durk, but I, I, I should uh, like. I you like, like like who? Who's the creator of drill music? Oh, Chief Keef. But I know that oh, I know that from you. Hey, you what know if, that from wait, me. Wait, you, wait, what? If 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 Takashi Six Nine walked in here right now, what what should we do? I would just start laughing. <laughs> I would what, just. What, what do you? What should me and uh, and Didante do? I ain't I doing know. shit. Nothing. First off, no nothing. What he walking what, here. I'm gonna try to get me a million out of his ass. What should, what should you do? I don't know. Is, is it... Do you know the situation? What with... should I do? What do you mean? Which yeah. Hey, on on, on a serious note though. We always have fun. We always clown. You're a great sport, but oh, yeah. we love you. You're you're no, you're you a great too. part like, of the family, and we appreciate you. I guys. appreciate like you guys like letting me onto this. Like I have so much fun. Like every time, like I come to one of these, and, I'm about know, to devolve into a ball of tears right now. No, for real. real. Like for, right. go for it. Dude. He's gonna hug the fuck out of you after this. Dude, I'm gonna go carry you it. like a newborn. Just rock you right here. <laughs> <now. laughs>
<laughs> Walking in circles. <laughs> All right. All right. So this was Stranger Fruit Podcast, and this is Elliot, a.k.a. What's your what's your what's your name? Uh, young uh, Young Spiel. Young Spiel, <laughs> aka Gangland Landlord. Gangland Landlord, and that's Free Bliss, Brian James. We'll catch y'all later. Holla back. We gotta go. Oh.